Greetings everyone, my name is Jay Johnson and in this video I am going to narrate an original flash fiction piece that I wrote titled Road Trip. Graduation had just been a few short weeks ago, though it still felt like it had been another day. Rebecca, Becky as her friends called her, had agreed to go on a road trip with her cousin Victoria from their home in Southern California to an aunt's house in Arizona. It was a long drive through some of the worst country imaginable. But she didn't start college for a few more months and she'd been so bored since graduating high school. She had a part-time job at a department store, but that, to her, was just as boring as sitting at home. So, of course she had agreed and they had began their journey. They made it out of California quicker than Becky had expected but things went just as they planned. Or not too much as planned as it really turned out. They had brought some water and different foodstuffs, but not much. Victoria and Becky had expected to be able to make pit stops at gas stations and such for what they needed. But then, what people on the radio and on social media called the awakening began. virus, infection, disease, whatever it was, the two cousins had no clue, but despite their initial disbelief, seeing is believing. They had fled from infected at their last gas station stop. They had decided to keep on driving to their aunt's house as that might be their safest option. And so it proved to be, or so it did, up until Victoria who was taking her turn driving the afternoon following their encounter had to suddenly swerve around something in the road. She lost control and their car rolled several times before coming to a stop with a sickening crunch. Becky blinked, aware that she was bleeding, but unsure of how bad it really was. She was trapped in her seat with wrecked car trapping one leg and her seatbelt was jammed closed. She had no idea where Victoria was, but the possible answers that flooded her mind scared her. Unknown to her, Becky was bleeding internally and was hurt a lot worse than she realized. Shock and trauma had swarmed her processing skills and her mind was in a haze. With the state of her injuries and without treatment, normally Becky would have been dead within eight hours. But a nearby infected, investigating the sounds of the crash, made it so within eight minutes. Thanks for stopping by everyone. If you enjoyed what you heard, or if you didn't, please leave feedback in the comments below. Also, I will have links to my Twitter and Patreon account in the description. Thank you, and have a nice day.